This is day 59 of trying to get to 2000 ELO on chess.com. Um, I'm playing with the white pieces and uh, I'm playing the ready opening. My opponent's rated 1848 and I'm rated 1781. And um, I'll probably just blitz out most of these moves. Uh, if he pushes this pawn, it's a blunder. But now it looks like he's trying to push this pawn because his queen's there, so I'll go here to defend if he doesn't attack my knight. Um, and then I'll actually I'll just quickly push uh, this pawn because I don't really like when his bishop's there. And then I'll go um, push this pawn to stop his knight bishop, and then try and go here c4 to get my knight attacking his bishop. Uh, it looks like he's gonna castle kingside, so I'll still delay castling a little bit. Um, so yeah, I'll just continue with my plan and then uh, go here. And the idea is that if he takes, I'm attacking his bishop, but he decides to push, so I'll just take. And if he takes with the knight, I'll uh, probably take. And if he takes with either of these pawns, then I'll go here attacking his bishop. Um, so my bishop's blocked in, but it's not. It's actually not that bad for me, I don't think. So my opponent has castled. Um, I'm going to take this bishop, and um, I'm going to push this pawn, and then probably castle uh, kingside now. I still have to be kind of careful, um, but uh, the position looks kind of equal. I also might have to reroute my bishop, because it's not... Um, yeah, I think I'll just reroute my bishop, because it's not really doing that much there. And now it stops his knight from coming here. And then now, now I'll castle on my next move, and uh, maybe reroute my knight as well. Yeah, I'll reroute my knight, and um, it looks like I can... I want to put my bishop here, but he can just push this pawn. So maybe putting my bishop here, attacking his knight. Um, that move doesn't look that good, though, because it looks like I can just go here. Oh, actually, no, I can't because his knight can take. So I'll go here, and I'm actually just trying to take his knight. Um, a lot of people don't like taking, uh, like trading off their bishop for the knight, but uh, I don't mind doing it. So basically, I want to take his knight, push this pawn, open up my rook file. So he decides to defend his knight. Um, I'm going to take that, and I want to push this pawn, but it looks like he's just going to push. But I'm still going to do that. And uh, I might have to move my king over. I also have uh, I also have this, um, this weird bishop move, because if he takes, then I win his queen. So, um, or I could just go here though, because he probably isn't going to take, but here blocks the pond. So I'll go here, and um, I might have to move my bishop back at some point. So now he's threatening to take. I'll go here. Um, basically, I'm threatening this check, and then I might have to sacrifice my queen. It looks like I'm completely losing here because he has two passed pawns. Okay, so he moves his queen out of the way. Bishop is hanging. I could actually just go here, though, attacking his queen, getting my knight into a better position. I could still deliver this check, but after uh, this bishop move, um, it doesn't look that good. But I would say that this uh, knight move uh, is good for me. And I might have to sacrifice my bishop later in the game. Because uh, these pawns are very hard to stop. I'm going to move my knight here. I'm attacking his knight. If he takes my knight, then I'm attacking his queen. But my position is still very difficult to play. I'm also trying to guard this square more. Because I don't want his bishop to be here. Once I deliver the check. So I'm still not moving my bishop. But my position is, is very, very difficult for me to play. Um, I should have thought about not allowing his these two pawns in the center. He decides to take looks like taking is my only move. I do have this check, bishop here, sacrifice my rook, rook takes. This, rook defends. Yeah, I'm just going to play the most risky move. I'm going to give him this check and then sacrifice my rook, pin his rook, and then he's going to defend his rook, and then maybe I can put my bishop here. But uh, I'm completely losing. So He could also move his king, but yeah, so I'm going to sacrifice my rook and then Go here, I'm threatening this, he defends, I could uh, maybe attack his queen. Yeah, I'll just uh, attack his queen, so I'm down three points of material. I do have this pawn here, but that's just 
Nine position is not looking very good. I do have this move though, which that kind of does look pretty good. So I'm going to play that. Um, he still can't take because it's pinned. Yeah, I think uh, I think just taking this would be the best move. Hopefully I'm not missing anything. Um, taking this doesn't really make any sense. Uh, so I think I want to say pushing this pawn. He's actually in a very uh, hard position for him because he can't, uh, if he moves his king, then I just win a piece. So it looks like he's probably going to, I'm actually not really sure what he can do. Um, I could maybe move my queen up a square, take this queen check, the queen will have to go back, but maybe not. My uh, other move that I'm considering is to push this pawn. Um, that looks pretty good. So either moving my queen into the position more or just pushing this pawn. Yeah, so I'm going to uh, push this pawn. And uh, his rook cannot take, it's pinned. And um, I'm only down one point of material, but my position looks okay, even though he has these two pass pawns. His pass pawns are kind of far away. Mine's a little bit closer than his, but it's still, I still have to be extremely careful. Uh, he can't just move his king because then I would just take a piece. So basically I'm trying to, uh, I can actually just kind of give up this pawn too because if his queen takes, then I would have this. So I am actually am threatening just pushing this pawn. And he decides he is going to push. So now, so now if I were to push this pawn, he pushes, attacking my rook. Okay, maybe I miscalculated. I think I can just take, queen takes, take, king takes, push this pawn, push this pawn, and then go here. Yeah, I think, uh, I think I'm winning now. Which is very nice, because my position was terrible, and so for me to, for me to convert this into a win, and uh, his king isn't in time, but I have to quickly defend against this. I, you know, it's, it is kind of annoying, his two pass pawns here, but his king is very far away, so I think, uh, I think just, uh, I think just promoting here, annoying. Okay, he, he resigns. I played with a 74.7% accuracy. My opponent played with a 71.6% accuracy. Also, when he uh, castled here, I actually uh, missed this move, and his bishop has no uh, escape squares. So that's what happens when you uh, play too fast in the opening. So that's kind of uh, my mistake. I should have, uh, I should probably slow down when I play. So um, allowing him to have these two pass pawns uh, was obviously terrible for me. I just kind of saw how far away his king was uh, from this pawn here. So I knew that I could just... Uh, okay, it says that taking is incorrect. I guess I could have went here. He can't take because I win his queen, but... Um, no, take, taking here, even though the, the computer says it's wrong, like it doesn't really matter. Like I'm up a lot. Um, it just doesn't really matter. My rating is now 1791, percent down 99.7, and still a high of 1882. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.